So yeah, let's let's get right into the news. We are live. Welcome, folks. Hey guys, and welcome back to one of our final sessions of Terra War of Awakening. Uh, we're down to one player. Sad, sad day. Uh, but sad. The campaign. The campaign will probably move quicker with one character. Uh, that is, unless the character decides to like get extremely ridiculous on all the little things he wants to do every single day. But probably not. Yeah, I've never been that kind of player. Anyways, I'm like, yeah, I do the normal things of the day. Traveling's boring, right? Yeah, but so, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, what's been up with you? Uh, working, as usual. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Uh, before that, we were just talking about the stuff that I uh, ordered for my next D and D character. Perhaps uh, keep that for the surprise later. For the whenever it happens. Um, and then four six hammer background there. So. I want to like hang that up on the wall. I think we get like a guitar stand for it, like one mm -hmm. that like mounts onto the wall. I actually have one, so... and I'll just like hang that on the wall. <clears throat> so <clears throat> it's been a long time coming. I started it back in like August or July. Yep. And uh, I don't know. It's one of those things that I work on for a few minutes at a time when I have time, and like it's literally, along. literally no idea what I was doing when I was putting it together. Like I've tried a couple of different materials, a few different kinds of paint, so. A lot wow. of different adhesives, some of which just like melted the foam. <laughs> so, right. So yeah. But yeah. Now I'm on to the easy part, painting it and staining the wood and stuff. So. Mm-hmm. So, Hopefully you can have it done before the campaign ends. But that's that's the goal. So, um, <laughs> I mean, I consider it done. Like the hammerhead is the important part, but I got to work mm -hmm. on the base. So, um, yeah, I'm kind of I want to be able to put the tentacles on it, but. I didn't have to buy some like fucking tentacles. Of some sort. I actually did look. At, I looked at buying um um like an illithid mask and then just mm -hmm. cutting all the tentacles off of it and putting it on it because that uh -huh. would be awesome. And I have to like paint them purple and stuff, mm -hmm. grayish purple. But so good time. It's a good time. So uh, got to get there. So other than that, yeah, you guys came down on uh, Friday. Yep. Hung out a little bit. That was good Good stuff. Good time. Yeah. It's literally just like resting on my French press. If I knock it over, I'm going to have coffee all over Heather's computer. <laughs> Living life on the edge. Um, yeah. Yeah, we went to see the brewery. Um, and then the next day, was it? Better. Um, yes, yes. The next day, uh, I busted my ass all day helping Nick move. Oh, nice. So, got most of his crap from his fucking third story goddamn apartment. Oh, that's the worst. All the way down. Uh, make several trips all the way out to his house. And then load that shit in there. So, he, uh, he slept there, uh, that night. Oh, he put his bed together and well it was his old bed uh which is going to be the guest bed mm. uh, they're getting a different new bed so yeah nice so do you ever figure out what street they actually live on i don't know the street name i forget mm. I, mean, I could get there if i had to but yeah i don't remember just curious. Have you not been there yet? I haven't been there. Mm. Next time I go visit my parents, I'll just drop by his house or something. Yeah. Just... Yeah. It's over there by Berlin Game. Yeah. Cool. Is it Berlin Game at 36, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's like right by Oriole Park. Like, mm -hmm. really close. Mm. So. See, I'm like Maple Lawn or something. Might be. Is it like a big, is it like a steep, curvy street? Mm mm. Nope. That cul de sac? Is it like a dead end street? No, it seemed like it was just a fucking road, like a, a road of houses. It didn't seem like, I didn't see a cul de sac. Hmm. There might have been one way the hell down, but I didn't see one. 
<clears throat> and it's just like right off a Berlin game. Uh, yeah, mostly. Okay. I don't know. Uh, Figure it out. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Good shit. Yep. Uh, we're ramping up. Gonna be, uh, wrapping up this campaign. We're ramping up for the next one. Mm -hmm. Gonna take a week off in between the two campaigns and, uh, switch gears hopefully hopefully i'm actually prepared by then uh i'm uh, you know it's not like i'm not doing work i i am you know i it's just a lot of there's just a lot of crap right there's a lot of things you don't realize when you're actually trying to put together a campaign that doesn't end up coming out like uh well I'm gonna make something up now off the top of my head. It's a lot of work. Like unfortunate improv or something. Yeah, oh, I, I, it's more work than I'm even normally doing for this campaign. Like I, oh, really? I'm doing um, like I'm actually building encounter tables and stuff. And I I started doing that originally with this campaign, but I got sick of it. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like I was like, oh fuck. So then I would just kind of throw whatever monster i felt like like oh that sounds good <laughs> yeah yep uh we rolled up uh my character wexford the other day mm -hmm. good time a good time mm -hmm. it will be interesting because i didn't really roll all that well i rolled yeah. pretty much average right across the boards and a couple of bad ones yeah so. yeah well kind of how the dice roll yep well, that's the fun of it that's the fun of it so that's what makes characters interesting you just roll like all 18s all day and then i agree what's the fun of roll why would you bother rolling dice you know way more mm -hmm. fun if you have interesting stats so yeah yep. and if you survive long enough your stats will become decent yeah. you get you know plus two here and there if you have a couple of levels yep get a couple so. magical items and yeah, that, that point or two you're missing it doesn't even matter. Mm -hmm. I was reading something in Xanathar's and it was like, yeah, magical items are pretty much really important. Uh, if you don't give your party magical items, you probably shouldn't pin them up against creatures that are like immune to damage unless they take magical damage. I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> i mean sure i feel like i was kind of stingy on magical items in this campaign but at the same time i pretty much gave you the most powerful magical items possible yeah. right away yeah i mean because like yeah the the roadmap uh, that wizards expects you to do is like their first magical item at like level five and then like level seven they might have a couple of magical items like like artifacts and shit like that at like level 10 basically ah you're level five here's some artifacts and then it was like yeah no more magic items i mean we could have like gone and found them we could have done work to have more gold i'm sure it's not like they aren't they don't exist but uh and i did give you guys items it was just like they were lost over time like you lost that one magical item that you got stoned with yeah which was worth quite a bit of money um fahari had like a magical the, the fucking blow darts. dart blower or something with magical darts yep. um desmond has magical chest armor mm -hmm. um i don't know there's been some items yeah and I mean, I've thought about it. I've thought about getting some magical items. So then I'm like, We've had some scrolls. Yeah. Um, I don't remember what else. Oh, you had the the orb, which I guess now is Racelands. Yeah. Um, yeah, we've had items. It's just um, I I 
I pretty much refuse to give you items just to give you items. So you would have to go right, and right. delve into a tomb or something. Yeah. Or... Go into the creeping quagmire and like s steal a an orb of true scene from a hag, uh, hag. Uh, what do you call it? A coven yeah. of hags or something. Yeah. Or, mm -hmm. you know, get a bunch of gold and buy one from a magic shop for, like, a thousand gold. Yeah. There you go. Not a... Or or steal one from a magic shop. Yeah. Yeah, because that's definitely in line with any of our characters. So. It was with somebody. Sure. Shock would fucking do that shit. Sure. Shock didn't give a fuck. Bahari would have contemplated it. Mm-hmm. Um... I was surprised that Micah never did something like yeah, that. Yeah, he wanted to. I think I think we talked him off that ledge a few times. Because mm -hmm. we were like, eh, no, no, please don't. Yeah, there was like that that one wizard in, uh, I think it was Brooksong. Oh, yeah, yeah, on our way. Uh... Bahari was like, well, he like identified items for them. Was like, well, what we could just like keep the items. Was it Bro Brooke song? I, th I was saying like, or Evergreen or something. Like that. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't remember. I just remember there was a moment where I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, because that was that was on our way down. Like the blood letter or whatever. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, something like that. Yeah, so Caridian Encounters will be coming up. Uh, Logan will be in it. Devin still is interested. I uh, talked to Corwin the other day. He's still interested. Uh, Going to be Monday, probably Monday nights. Uh, and hopefully we can find a fourth cast member somewhere. be great. Yeah. would be great. Yeah. So, uh, D and D. We're not done yeah. with this campaign yet. So, I guess you're the only one that can recap. So, go ahead yeah. and give me. The I was going to ask you if you want me to bother recapping it. We might as well. I mean, you're not level just, twenty yet. And the yeah. campaign's not over. Yeah. Let's go for level twenty in like what three sessions? <laughs> you can uh, try. Oh God, that'd be a that'd be a crazy amount of experience. I th I think you'd be DMing wrong if I managed that. I don't know. There are a lot at me in a survivor. Uh, so, yeah, last week... Uh, last week I actually moved fairly slowly as far as, like, time. So, um, mm -hmm. We entered the cave. And, uh, uh... Raceland's cave. And, um... There were some... Uh... People in there. Bandits or guards or something. Um... And uh, the crew fought them. Um, there was a um, caster of some sort that summoned uh, a rock elemental. There were a bunch of rogue, roguely types, or whatever you want to call them. Um, it was a difficult fight. They actually. Both Desmond and Shog went down in the fight, and Orsic barely hung on. Almost a TPK, uh, but through the strength and fortitude of Orsic Battlehammer, they pushed, they uh, got out and uh, uh, healed up, and then they went back in and tried to push through it some more. Um. So they went downstairs, and there are a bunch of casters down there. And the casters, um, um, knocked out Shag, who was not so fortunate this time, and ended up failing some saving throws and dying. Um, but, uh, after one of the casters went down, and Shag went down, Raceland revealed himself. Uh, they were all Raceland's guards. So, um, both parties were very unhappy about this. It wasn't, uh, 
it didn't really turn out well for either side. Um, but after <clears throat> um, getting over that disagreement, they communicate. They sat down and talked about what was actually going on and why they were there. So um, the party, now just Desmond and Orsic, found out that um, uh, that Raceland knows about King Darren being back and uh, knows pretty much nothing about Xander. Um, and uh, is warning the end is near, all that. Um, and saying that the elves need to stop their um, fight against the undead, trying to push the undead back or whatever. Um, and uh, that they need to just go to shield wall because it seems like everything is converging on shield wall. Um, uh, all the uh, I don't know if they're they're not Nosferatu, but just more of the visages like uh, Vahari are or not Vahari, <laughs> like Violet are heading to shield wall. The constructs you fought yeah. many times before. Yeah, the constructs. Um, yeah, and they're all headed to. Or shield while he thinks so. Um, he's saying he wanted Arish Kegel to switch, change gears, and head to shield wall. So Orsic and Desmond decided to go there, uh, or to go to Akron to go talk to Arish Kegel. Um, and uh, yeah, that's where <clears throat> we left off. All right. So you are 16th level now. All right, recap experience uh, keeps ramping up here. It's gonna be seventy five hundred. Not bad, uh, Chip. No. Oh. <clears throat> Where's the player's handbook up there? Weird. Where my player's handbook was? I knew where Xanathar's was. I just have a stack of fucking books on my desk at all times. Yeah. I know, I always try to put mine back on my bookshelf. I always put them in my uh, bag of holding with, like, all my D&D &D stuff. And then put that back on my bookshelf, but sometimes I just leave them stacked up on the floor next to my computer. I do really want to buy a new computer desk. I really need to give me some more room, because I have such little room here. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Alright, so once you've got that in your... Roll 20 character sheet. Um, guess we can jump right in. <clears throat> so, you guys uh, managed to convince the portal master to send a, a runner to speak on behalf of y'all. Mm -hmm. Tell the witch queen that you're, you know, back around and hoping to gain an audience um, mm -hmm. for some unknown reason. And uh, a little while later, quite some time later, I suppose, uh, you were escorted to her uh, her temple of sorts. Uh, and if you're prepared, you may once again enter. <clears throat> yeah, I think. Uh... I think we are. Okay. So. Well, this goes much the same as it usually does. You enter the large temple and, uh, you know, walk your way up there. By this point, you're probably feeling confident, you know, more confident than you probably ought should be. Um, but, you know, you spent enough time around these people that, you know. Yeah. Well, whatever. Um... Uh, you do see the queen is at her throne, and uh, she was speaking with a number of individuals, so you have to wait some time, um, but, you know, TLDR, you get up to the throne, um, and she looks down upon you and says, uh, back so soon. 
good news, I hope. Hmm. I suppose news. Um. <clears throat> but, uh. Also, perhaps a request. Not from ourselves. But, uh. We've spoken with Raceland. Also, we spoke with Damien, but uh, more importantly, we spoke with Raceland. Um, where we lost our friend Shog, but I'm sure you don't uh, don't really care much about that. So, um, getting right into it. She looks confused at you. Uh but anyways, talking to Raceland, he warned us that uh, um, the other constructs like Violet are probably headed for Shield Wall, <clears throat> and he doesn't, uh, or he thinks that uh, all of our forces, I mean all of the armies should also be converging on Shield Wall. He thinks that. That is where, uh, for lack of a better term, it will go down. The final stand. Raceland contacted me, said you were coming to elaborate on some details that he, uh, how shall I say, he endorses. Uh, Master Raceland believes that the remaining constructs are converging upon a singular point, is what you are elaborating upon? Uh, yes. Uh, on Shield Wall. Uh, quite possibly King Darren himself, if you call him that. Uh,. The God King is returned, returned. I hear. Yes, and uh, much different than before. He's showing his age now. He looks like a over elder, el over elderly human. So I've heard. Uh, Raceland was quick to point out that uh, I was foolish to not cast a. Uh, uh, detect evil <laughs> on him. Uh, so if we head back to Shield Wall, perhaps I'll do that if I can get audience with him again. Um, but uh, perhaps. My, my gut feeling says there's not really any need because he's quite changed aside from his appearance. He's not he was not speaking. His son spoke for him and whispered in his ear the whole time and uh, was much more bold and, and outspoken than he had been before he was the regent king. She takes a few moments to think about that. Sometimes desperate times change a man, but she shrugs. If these constructs are converging upon Shield Wall and the king has just returned, I find it unlikely these two events are not in some way linked. Right. Well, judging by uh, by the way he acted uh, and and uh, the fact that he just kind of reappeared after being taken away by Xander and just 
comes back and reappears and <clears throat> won't say anything of where he went when we asked him. And it seemed uh, like they did not want to share that information at all. Well, he was always a difficult man to deal with, but... Yes. Sure, but... He knows... Uh, Desmond here pretty well. Well... You know, and, and you would think, uh, perhaps... Desmond might be trustworthy enough, right? She gives Desmond a skeptical look. Eh, we got our history, but... He's definitely a little different. And... You're proposing I do what exactly? About this. Well, As you can see, I have my hands full. And, you know, there's, like, two different people handing her documents. She's, like, scrolling her name down. Mm -hmm. Well, Raceland requests that uh, you quit fighting the undead uh, that are to the east of Shieldwall. And uh, bring all of your forces to Shieldwall. Fight the Constructs. As he believes that's where where the final battle is going to be fought of this war uh, I'm not really sure what exactly he is working on to help in the defense but uh, that seems like quite a preemptive assumption just because they're seemingly moving towards the capital doesn't mean well it could mean anything or it could mean nothing but perhaps they want the king back well something tells me that the king isn't actually the king perhaps well perhaps the king himself is He's, uh, I don't know, I get the feeling that he's a, either a puppet or he's a puppet of Xander or Xander in a mask. I can't be certain, but I would imagine that the constructs are headed to him to help uh, finish what Xander's trying to do. It's that or somehow the God King escaped and is now just an old haggard man. Either way, it doesn't do us any harm to uh, make some preventative measures, wouldn't you say? I wouldn't say no. While we are just about finished to the northeast, and I could spare some forces, for sh to be certain, uh, it would be a well, political disaster for me to move troops across human-controlled territories without first having consent from local nobility. Might just start another war. Can you not just teleport them all to Shieldwall? Have we not got those sorts of thing things in place? 
I don't know what uh, magical networks the elves and humans have set up. I know some of it. It is possible, yes. Uh, but I wouldn't do such a thing, given what I know now. If King Darren is indeed compromised, as you claim to believe, then it would be perilous to build up our forces under his nose. Let us instead work cautiously towards... perhaps towards him elsewise. If hell were to break loose beneath our feet, we would be caught, as they say, with our pants down. So how do you propose that we would move such a force across human lands without him knowing? Oh, well, I'm certain he'll know eventually. I would do it legally. The only way I can imagine that we might do so in a fast and efficient way would be, well, to pull strings with individuals we have our claws in. You have a great rapport with Damien Stark, head of Blackguard Initiative and Arc Wizard of Witchwell. Convince him to allow us to, uh, how shall I say? Fortify Witchwell and the surrounding regions. Convince him that uh, whatever you need to convince him of. Uh, but make sure that he knows that we'll be sending Elvish military to set up a base of operations of sorts on their land. And from there, further acquisitions can be made. Okay. Okay. That you think you're up to that? I think so. Damien seems, uh... Mm, distant. Is Seems very overwhelmed by his new job. Well. And... That's to be expected. But... He's the one we have right now, so make use of him uh, and we'll deal with his uh, inefficiencies at a later date. Now, was there anything else? Mm. I look over to Desmond and just kind of shrug. Yeah, what the hell is up with Violet? We haven't heard anything. People are asking about her. The king wants to see her. They asked about that specifically. Oh, yes, I did forget that uh, one minor detail. She shrugs. I haven't heard a thing. Though if there was someone to be unconcerned about, it would be her. I'm sure she'll make her way back here when the time is right. So, make sure to keep in contact with myself uh, about the progress, and I will personally contact Lord Feanir. She gives you a look. And we'll take it from there. Okay. All right. Well, then we will be on our way. All right. So you guys give a bow and take your leave. Um, yeah. After you guys are outside of the temple, 
and you're being escorted back to the portal room. At some point, Desmond says to you, uh, so... Uh, I don't really like the idea of leaving Rakshana with that shady piece of work. <laughs> he basically threatened to sell our steeds if we weren't back in a week, if you don't remember. Fucking bastard. Well, I say we just, uh... Ask the portal master to send us right back to where we came from. Yeah. Tell Race on what she said and yeah. head out. Thinking we go back to the lab, backtrack to, what was that piece of shit? Pebbleton. Mm hmm. And then uh, ride back to Witchwell. It's only like a couple, what, five, six days? It's not too bad. Something like that. Wouldn't be bad at all. All right. So you guys, um, is there anything else you wanted to talk to him about, or not really? Um, no, I don't think so. Okay. So you guys make it back to the portal room, and you say what? Uh. Uh, I approach. Yeah, I approach the portal master. Just. Say well, uh, we'll be out of Besides your hair. If, resigning, just resigned to his fate. We'll be out of your hair, uh, portaling sir. dwarves to and fro. If uh, you'd like to just send us back to whence we came. Sure, I haven't even reconfigured the portal yet. Just go ahead and walk on through. I figured you'd be so eager to get rid of us that you wouldn't reconfigure anyways I just step through the portal alright uh, so you guys are suddenly surrounded by fire and tentacles everywhere no <laughs> you're back uh, in the a like a private area that Raceland had taken mm -hmm. you to that you hadn't previously found Right. Um, within Raceland's uh, laboratory, I guess, Feyenoord's laboratory, mm -hmm. and um, uh, okay, yeah, he's actually still at his desk writing at something. Seems a little bit surprised to see you again, um, but quickly recomposes himself. Ah, oh, I didn't expect that you would come back here. Well, uh, we did leave our horses. And, uh... Ah, of course. Figured it would be smart to let you know what... Uh... Arush Kegel has said. And her he reaction. He kind of, like, brushes the hair out of his face. And, uh, so? Uh, well, she wants us to go, uh... Uh, tell Witchwell and, uh, the leader of the Black Guard... Mm, he squints. I just kind of grin. Uh, that uh, her forces will be moving there uh, in preparation to head to Shield Wall. So she agreed to our plan. Yes. She uh, just she wanted to go about it uh, in a way that wouldn't cause more war he nods closes a book that he had open most excellent kind of smiles uh, she's worked very hard to get where she is uh, I'm certain that she wishes to make the most out of the events that come after the war right doesn't want to burn any bridges and neither do I so this is for the best Yes. So our next stop is which well? Hmm. We'll say hi to our good friend Damien. Mm. Yes. Well, uh, would you like us to tell him you say hi? The wink. He squints at you. Best nod. 
I'll take care of that personally when the time is right. This thing. Um. Well. Uh, if you haven't got anything for us, I guess we'll just uh, head off. Perhaps you've got a secret knock for us next time we come by. No secret knock. Uh, just uh, use the back door next time. And, uh... I forget if we talked about that last week or not. And, uh... What? The back door. How to find it. I mean, you can ask him. Yes. Well, I, I'm... Yeah. I'm, not, I'm trying to remember if we talked about it last week or not, so I don't have to ask him, but... Uh, I don't remember, so... Um, mm. yes. Uh, what back door? Well, as I said to you a few hours ago, uh, if new information is revealed to me about the goings-on in Shieldwall with the king, uh, I will let you know discreetly. Okay. Okay. You may use uh, the front door to leave. I don't think there's anything left there to stop us, right? A wizard has his yeah. secrets. Uh, yeah. Head on out. Head out. Upside. Upstairs, right. outside. Cool. So you guys backtrack through the lab. Mm -hmm. Uh, I guess the bodies have been removed by now. There's still blood and stuff that needs to be probably removed. Um... All of Shock's equipment and stuff is gone. Uh, and anyone you pass gives you a foul, dirty look. Let's grin at them. You probably killed their, some of their friends. Alright. But you guys make it back through the cave and find yourself... Mmm... I don't remember. It's probably late, yeah? Probably. I mean, it's been a couple hours since we came down here. Yeah. Spent some time and then, fighting. And yeah, and you went all out. the way to her. Takes like an hour, hour and a half to walk to her. Mm -hmm. Hour and hour and a half back. Something like that. And you, you know, spent probably like an hour waiting to speak to her. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. It's, uh, it's evening. Mm -hmm. By now. So, you get to the entrance of the cave. And, uh, sure enough, it's, you know, it's dark so what's the plan uh i just say desmond what do you say we just uh rest here with the uh carriage and everything and head off in the morning the what we'll just sleep here with the carriage he looks around yeah. the fuck are you talking about Oh, we left that outside of the woods, didn't we? Did we leave you it? You guys left everything in Pebbleton. You Every walked. Yeah. Oh, right, right. That's right. Yep. Okay. Yeah, let's just uh, rest here then. In the forest. Should have asked Raceland to sleep at his place. Yeah, I'd rather not. This fucking damp cave's a better place than that shit. Okay, we can Creepy just rest. Ass. Uh, sure. So you guys want to just stay like at the entrance of that cave, or where do you want to? Yeah, kick I suppose it? so. Yeah. I may be fucking half dead or whatever, but I still can't see in the darkness. Fucking piece of shit, human eyes. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, guess we'll just stay here till morning. Yeah. Okay. Let's do exactly that. You know if there's anything you'd like to talk about specifically, but uh, you guys don't sleep, so it's just gonna be like awkward conversation 
um, until the sun starts to crack over the horizon. And it is the 18th of Moon Harvest today. And you guys, uh, I guess Desmond probably ha took off his armor. You guys put your armor back on and stuff. And head out into the thick-ass forest. Yep. Thick-ass forest. Uh, you gonna, uh... Do your little tree prayer thing? Get us through here? Mm. Oh, you don't remember the way back? Fuck, I look like a ranger. I look around. Kinda... Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Alright, good. Yeah. And I, uh... Kneel down in front of the closest tree. It's like right there in front of him. And, uh... Yeah, just uh, say the same thing I usually do. Show me the way. The way out of the forest. No, no, no I need... Isn't it a question you have to ask yes, or yes. something? Uh, <laughs> they know the way. Just, uh, where... Where is the edge of the forest? Just look for the right direction. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, you get a, a vision of, like, the edge of the forest. Mm -hmm. And then... Uh, like, a, you are imparted with um, a general direction on which way that is. Yeah. Just, like, by feeling, you know? Yeah. It's like a... Just get a gut feeling. There's, like, a, a... You know, every tree from there to here is connected in some way. So, yeah. Um, yeah, you have a general idea that it's like, I think it's a little, it's like mostly west, but maybe a little bit like southwest. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, we start heading in that direction. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so why don't you give me a survival check at advantage since you... Use your little thing. Wow. Wow. Damn survival checks. All right. Very hard check. You can uh, once again get through there. One freaking day. In one day. <laughs> Just like traveling through this thick ass woods. You can't really get heads or tails yeah. on really. It's easy to get turned around. I don't know if you've ever been in a thick forest before. But people get lost all the time, like only a mile out, and like die. Yeah. Because <laughs> you just like walk around in circles. Yeah. Everything you just walk same. around, like you get your. E it's easy to like accidentally keep like walking a different way than you try to, and then you end up accidentally just like walking in a circle, and yep. it's a fucking mess. So. Same tree. I can't tell. Did we already passed yeah. this tree before. Yeah. They all look the same. Yeah, but, um, let's see. You make pretty good